Hi guys, Note the Art here with another speed art. Uh, today we have kind of an original concept. Um, I have told you previously that I am huge into witches and paganism and all of this stuff. And the three like most notable witches that we know are the three from the play Macbeth. And so I wanted to do kind of a modern hipster twist on the three witches from Macbeth's play. So you'll see my three different concepts um, for these witches and I'll give some kind of facts about uh, the Scottish play and um, some other things that kind of helped me with this piece. So if you notice, I do have some references. I made those from the app uh, Picks Crew, and uh, an art friend of mine made these, and so I kind of decided to use that as a basis to help me figure out how to like make my original characters and I have to say it is quite helpful when you have an art block it's fun to just kind of play around with those like doll creators and things like that because they kind of help you come up with a creation even though someone has already made the art you're kind of piecing those things together to make the art themselves and then you can kind of make it in your own style which I did but first I want to get into some facts about um, Macbeth, explain it a little bit if you don't know um, Shakespeare's play. So Macbeth is one of the most well-known plays of William Shakespeare's um, and is also one of his shortest and darkest plays. Now if you haven't um, heard or seen about Macbeth, I will explain it in just a little bit, but I will say it was very interesting to read in, I think I read it in high school, yeah, I read it in high school my sophomore year. Um, it was written in about 1606. It is about a brave Scottish general who learns from three witches that he will become king of Scotland. He murders several times to achieve his goal, feeling guilty at the same time. So that's kind of the basic premise of this story. Um, I would say besides Hamlet, Macbeth is one of my favorite um, plays or like Shakespeare plays. Um, just because of all the like in-depth kind of thinking, like damn if I do, damn if I don't kind of thing um, that goes on in Macbeth. Uh, the play was performed at London's Globe Theatre in 1606. Richard Burbage, a well-known popular actor of the day, was probably the first person to play Macbeth on stage. Women were not allowed to act then and all female parts were played by men. Granted, I think Lady Macbeth is and besides the witches are the only female characters in this play. So it kind of makes it easier to um, do this play without women, uh, which sucks <laughs> though at that time. Um, one story says that Shakespeare took the part of Lady Macbeth at the last minute when the main actor was ill. The earliest film version of Macbeth was a black and white silent film made in 1908, since there have been over a dozen film and television productions of the play. Orson Welles' 1948 film Macbeth is perhaps the most famous big screen version. It was filmed in just 23 days and used sets and scenery left over from western films. I haven't seen that one, but that would be interesting to watch. There have been many books and comics featuring Macbeth since the play was written. One comic even describes how Superman actually wrote the play instead of Shakespeare. So we also can see this in the um, 90s Disney television series the gargoyles which is based around the macbeth mythology in a way um so it's like these gargoyles were scottish um stuff happens and they get turned to stone and then they become gargoyles in like a new york city metropolitan area um but it does go back in time with macbeth and all of that stuff and kind of goes with that storyline as well so that's really interesting to see kind of that modern twist the comic book that i just read recently is called toil and trouble which takes on the witches storyline of macbeth which is really cool the author of it it's uh, Marie Mag Magreed Scott, I believe. Um, she wrote it based upon um, a misunderstanding of a project she did in college of doing an adaptation of Macbeth. 
and she decided what are what is the background what is the story of the witches what what do we know about them because there's not a lot known they're there to kind of give the prophecy but also they um do have kind of this joking back and forth between each other that we see a little bit in the play itself and so she decided to kind of create the story for them from their point of view and going with um the ideas of loss fate that sort of thing um i highly suggest picking up this book um the art behind it is beautiful the story for it is amazing i loved how she took this background of these three characters that we don't know a lot about and creates these interesting backgrounds for these witches that i, I want to know more about we get a small sense of their backstory seeing them as these women through time through history come together to this point in scottish history where macbeth um becomes king and everything and so uh i don't i don't know how else to describe it you you got to pick it up toil and trouble it's a graphic novel it's it's gorgeous so the play sometimes called the scottish king or the scottish play um uh, most of this is uh especially when you're in a theater there's like a curse behind the the name macbeth if you are saying it in a theater and you're not in a play, there's many different ways to break the curse. And some of it is you have to run around the outside of the theater, you have to run around in a circle and then spit, and then you have to say a curse word. I know before I knew all of this, I actually said Macbeth in the theater and I had to do it. Um, nothing bad has happened to me, so that's good, but I, I am very wary of superstitions, so, you know, I wanted to make sure that I was doing it right, that sort of thing. Um, and so a lot of the time, when you're not doing the play, you say the Scottish play. If you are doing the play, you are allowed to say it, so, it, I don't know, it's kind of weird. There's, the reason behind this is that there had been some faulty things that have happened during, um the plays i know some actors have fallen off the stage or some disastrous thing has happened to them when they have said uh macbeth uh there really was an 11th century king of scotland named macbeth and several other characters are based on real people which we see a lot in shakespeare's plays or um his characters are based upon some sort of mythology or historical aspect behind it uh, the plot of Macbeth is similar to that of Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra. There are also similarities with events in Scottish history. Macbeth contains many jokes and references about the king at the time, James I. He was fascinated by witches, which may have been why Shakespeare included the three witch uh, characters. Um, and so what's really interesting about Shakespeare is that he um, did a lot of history plays. So he has like Henry IV, Henry V, um, Richard the second Richard the third that sort of thing based upon actual history and events But of course making them a little fictional and dramatizing them a little bit more to make them interesting. He also bases plays on um, Mythology and that sort of thing which we see in like the Tempest um, we Kind of get that in like Hamlet, but we also that that is also kind of like a, a history. There was like a Denmark prince, that sort of thing. Antony and Cleopatra, we kind of see that as well. Um, Titus Andronicus is based upon um, a Roman uh, Greek mythology play and story like that as well. And uh, but yeah, so I wanted to create these two or these two these three ladies around the idea of forest hipster women <laughs> i know the hipster thing is very cliche and that sort of thing but setting it in more of the times of now um if you notice i try and put a little symbolism in my things um so each female character has some sort of piercings or no piercings on them they have some sort of mole on them depending where it is um, I wanted to go along the lines of the hear no evil see no evil speak no evil kind of thing so I have one by the mouth one by the eyes um, one closer to the ear that sort of thing and then I wanted to do however many piercings so there's like three or there's one um, two 
Uh, I might have none on the other one. I didn't really show ears in this image. Um, and then also give them animalistic um, aspects and like extra ears. So we have like a wolf, a fox ears, and then like antlers. And then going into that hipster kind of the hairstyle, the clothing, that sort of thing um, in their pieces as well to kind of convey. But also um, kind of the color palettes being more earth tones so they could be someone that you meet in the forest or you see someone maybe hiking in the forest so like in the play Macbeth he happens upon the witches in the fog as he gets lost and so to see these women in the forest they are not something to be feared but they do some sort of like ritual going on and they speak that double double toil and trouble um fire burn cauldron bubble that sort of thing and so that's kind of wanted to go to go for but i also wanted to give them a connection feature as well so their eye color is the same their skin color is the same i did consider like giving them different skin colors as well but i wanted them to be like three separate identities but also they could combine together as one identity so that's why i gave them the same kind of eye color and skin color as well so like maybe if i came up with my own story or backstory of the witches they combine themselves together to become one thing um but they speak in separate like ways and that sort of thing and that's what i really like about being able to kind of give your own interpretation of stuff and I've talked about this multiple times before about stealing like an artist and where nothing is really original like um, toil and trouble it has an original story but it's based upon something that has already been done it's based upon the witches lives but the witches have already been made from Shakespeare themselves so I'm taking my own interpretation of it and mixing it and forming it into my own thing and creating my own story behind it but that's stealing like an artist so i'm taking what is already there but i'm not saying that macbeth is my own i'm not saying that these witches are my own thing i'm saying the concept of them is my thing and like these are my characters i came up with them i created them that sort of thing so it's interesting because we also have the reference photos are based upon someone else's drawings and stuff, but I've also made them into my own in creating uh, that uh, my style in a way that we see here. So as we look, I um, am also starting to figure out my style. I'm trying to work with the frontal view and the three-quarter turn back view, the side view kind of thing, trying to test out um, how the characters look, changing them and their faces just slightly because as you notice in the reference pictures, they kind of all have the same facial features, facial like um, drawing around them. And I, I didn't want that to be the thing. I wanted to make sure that they were different three separate characters that they didn't look the same when I drew them and I think I got that across really well um, I didn't add in like the extra things like the coffee cup or something like that just because I wanted the, it to be about them and not about um, what extra things in it and so maybe I'll post in um, what the previous reference photos are along with this base picture but these are just my ideas. This is what I have, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, please don't forget to subscribe, comment what was your favorite thing, what you liked. Um, you can even say what you didn't like. It helps me in the future to figure out what to talk about, that sort of thing, when I'm doing voiceovers for these videos. And then also... Don't forget to ring that bell to get notified when I have a new piece out. I usually post on Mondays, so look out next week for that as well. I hope you are staying safe if the Backstreet Boys uh, reunion tour is still going on. Please make sure that you are still staying inside. Do not um, meet up with others unless they have also self-quarantined themselves for a long time. 
make sure that you stay hydrated, sleep well, eat right, and do what you love, and I will see you next time. Bye!